All right, you guys, welcome back to this week's vlog. This week's gonna be, this is gonna be a sick vlog this week, you guys. I have one of the very first FL5s. I think it's FL, FL5, I'm gonna call it anyways, you guys, if I, even if I'm wrong, Honda Civic Type R. Uh, unfortunately, it's not championship white, but you know what? Sonic Gray is gonna do, you guys. Let me show you guys. Look at that, yeah, of course, got the key. Look at that. And a nice Honda, of course, the red. Let me show you guys. Of course, it's in the shop right now. We're gonna do some film work on it. I'm gonna do that right now for you guys. So hang tight. And I'm gonna go over this car in depth, you guys. It's not gonna be like any other review or gonna like hype this. I'm just gonna show you guys in the raw. And this thing is sick. It just, on camera and on pictures, it does not show how wide these hips are and how wide the front fenders, but it's sick, you guys. I'm so excited to show you guys. Let's get right into it. Right, guys so we're finally done all the film work on the uh, front of the vehicle so let's get right into it and let's check this car out you guys maybe we'll do an actual review I don't know I'm not a review car kind of guy but uh, I kind of want to point out some of the key points and just show you guys the car and uh, it's it's pretty nice I like it uh, let's get right into it, you guys when you look at this car first thing that's going to be a dead giveaway that is this is a type R you guys is one obviously the spoiler I think this, this boiler looks so much nicer than last year's mo model, you guys. It is very, very, I, uh, maybe the mounts are a little not as nice, but this, this, this grows on me right now, you guys. I think it's a lot better. Um, two, obviously, the wheel arches. Um, it's significantly, like, a lot bigger than the actual, like, hopefully this, uh, the angle of the camera here can show you guys. Look how much wire that arch is. And then same as the rear ones. Um, look, it's, it's, it's quite big. Let's, let's measure this up. Let's measure this up and just show you guys. Johnny, can you help me out for a second? Can you grab the measuring tape? Let's measure for them to show them the difference, uh, how wide this fender is, you guys. Like just pictures doesn't really show. Eight and a half. Like it's, it's, it's massive, you guys. It doesn't look like a whole lot, but it's, yeah, it's big. Let's show, let's show them the rear one. Should we measure from here to here or here to here? Yeah, here to here, let's do it. 18. 18. That's massive. And obviously you notice it's steel. The door is steel. The frame is steel. The hood, the uh, roof is steel. The fender steel and oh, carbon fiber? No, probably aluminum. <laughs> carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. <laughs> All right. So next up, the seats. They they did it right, you guys. They brought it back. The red carpets. Thanks, Johnny. And <laughs> and I love the seats, you guys. This is just an iconic thing. And instead of stitches. They went and just embossed it like, a, like it's like a branding or 
Yeah, just like, you know, uh, when they do the cattles. It's like, it's pretty nice, you guys. And of course, the brushed aluminum shift knob. Um, what else can you say? I like how they just left this black and the roof black, because I think it's just way too much red, it's just way too much. I think this is a good touch, you guys. Um, let's hop inside here. Nice leather steering wheel. And let me see if I can turn this on. Love it how this, you see how they turn red, you guys? Let me just, uh, let me turn this on for you guys. Yeah. Let me turn the steering wheel. Okay. Look at that. It lights up. Honda. Okay, let's look. Touch screen. Digital gauges. It's not analog no more. You got your driving mode. Individual. Sport. Comfort. I like, I like that touch there. And then they have the LED. Uh, I think it's a, your rev uh, match or whatever uh, indicator. I we have we're not driving this car, so we won't be able to see those. Um, what else? Let me go back in here. I like that. I really like that, you guys. Just gonna let you pop the hood. And of course, this hood uh, scoop is actually functional. You can actually see. When I was working on it, I took it off, so it, it was really easy to take that off, you guys. If you want to know or curious if that hood scoop comes off. Yeah. And it, it's a 10 mil here, and 10 mil under here, and two more underneath there, and the whole hood scoop thing, you can see it comes right off. And, uh, hello in there! Massive uh, air intake here. This is going to be nice, you guys. I've always wanted to show off a nice turbo there. There you go, all this fake carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. All fake there. Um, what else can I say, you guys? This is pretty much the same motor as the FK8. Um, you got your intercooler. Very tiny. And uh, a nice Type R. This is not functional, but this is functional because there's a big gap in here. Those are nice for your brakes. And speaking of brakes and tires, this year they opted for a 19. And for you guys that are like tracking this car or have the intent to track this car, um, 19s is going to make a big difference. I believe even 18s would be even better on the track, you guys. Um, and I think it's a lot cheaper than a 20, yeah. The Civic is actually a smoke or dark black chrome, and like the white chrome, they should have did this. If I was gonna first thing on a mod, I would have mod this to this, you guys. But some guys might like the OG red Type R Honda, but look at that, it's, it's, it's nice, you guys. Yeah, this back end, Woo. Triple exhaust tips. And they're actually real, not like the fake exhaust tips these, these cars have these days, where it looks like an exhaust, but it's not. These are all functional. Overall, this is, uh, I think this is a very nice uh, change for Honda. This is a... Uh, mm -hmm. Love the, the rear seats here, where it has the red pipes. And uh, the red seat belts is a nice touch here, you guys. Love these. Yeah. Seriously, I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of this car. Uh, this color, car color, it's I think it's ugly, you guys. But maybe it'll grow on me, but probably not. Um, side skirts, absolutely nice too, you guys. Functional, one piece, not like the old one. Where it's gonna airflow is gonna flow through there. Yeah, I really like this car, you guys. It's it's a nice car. The exhaust no let's fire it up i'm gonna fire it up again for you guys and let's give it a couple revs obviously it's not gonna be like wow or anything but i'm just gonna show you guys what it sounds like i'm gonna put you guys down right here and uh let's fire this thing up
That was roughly about 4,000 RPM. Yeah, it needs an exhaust, you guys, but I think this thing's gonna be like sick. All right, guys, so while we're back here, let's let's show you guys the hatch. Let's see how much room there is. Ooh, that's nice. Red uh, floor mats here, Type R. Not bad, not bad. So it's pretty much the same as the FK8. Same panel cover here. Um, yeah, pretty standard, looks exact same. Uh, tinting this thing is gonna be a lot easier now because the spoiler's really not in the way here. So that's gonna be a bonus for uh, tinting this. Um, lots of room, lots of room in here, guys. The seats are pretty comfortable, guys. I'm, it's, it hugs you pretty good. I'm not really, uh, I'm not very a thick guy. And uh, I can feel both, uh, both of the bolsters on both sides of my, uh, my uh, waist and hips here. So it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty tight, but very comfortable at the same time too. So another thing you might not notice, but if you look at the door panel there, it's all black right now, right by the door handle. When you, as soon as you open the door, it actually lights up. That's pretty cool, eh? And it stays illuminated for quite some time and then, but I noticed it right just now that the rear one doesn't light up, just the front one. I wonder if we open the rear door, if those will light up or not. Let's go check it out. No, they don't light up. Yeah, it's just a blank. Just the front ones. I love how they redid the interior, guys. It's it's very, very nice and classy looking now. And it's not very all plasticky and what well, it is. It's a lot of plastic and stuff, but it's looks it's so much nicer. And I love how they give it the. Uh, it's not a chassis number. It's the actual number production number here, you guys. So we're one thousand forty three. Not bad. It's up there, but it's not very limited or anything like that to warrant the seventy thousand dollar price tag. Yeah, I would probably wait. I would probably wait until the hype is down a little bit. Maybe, I don't know. But I'm, I would never pay 70 grand for this car. Even though it's nice, but not 70 grand nice, you guys. So, we might add one to the channel. Hopefully I can, but not at that price, you guys. My wife my wife would kill me you guys, if, I, if I even brought it up and asked her for 70 grand on a Civic. 70 grand. <laughs> All right, guys, so with that thrown out there, would you guys pay 70 grand for a Honda Civic Type R? 70 grand, but that's 70 grand Canadian. All right, you guys, so food for thought. So 54 grand MSRP, uh, all the way up to 70, so that's 14 grand. And with 14 grand, you can get yourself a set of race wheels, TE37s, uh, exhaust, body kit. Well, not body kit, but aero like lift and side skirts, uh, intake, uh, what else? Maybe even a turbo for this car. So that's a lot of money that uh, you're just giving to the dealership for the hype. So is it worth it to pay that extra or is it weighted out, you guys? That's 14 grand is a lot so you can get right out of the hop. So before you leave a comment below, think about it and let me know and then leave a comment below, you guys. The back seat obviously has a lot of, a lot of room in here too. Yeah, this is pretty sick, you guys. This is pretty nice. I've, I was a big fan of it right from the get-go when I saw some pictures of it released. A lot, I know a lot of guys are like kind of hating on it and saying that it's just doesn't have that wow factor anymore. But I think this has that nice touch of a uh, gentleman. Yeah, more mature look. You can mistake it as a Honda Accord, but um, yeah, it's a dead giveaway with that spoiler. Yeah. Uh, Brembo brakes, not very big, but big enough for this car. Uh, hard to tell the suspension, but um, that yeah, would be all upgraded anyways. Who would, who would want to keep it stock? Yeah, what do you guys think? Would you guys take this over the uh, GR Corolla? The only thing the GR Corolla has on this is uh, all-wheel drive. I don't know why Honda just doesn't do this in all-wheel drive. Um, do any guys, you guys know, leave a comment below. Let me know why. Maybe they're just holding out on us and doing the uh, hybrid system like the uh, NSX, where they're gonna do that. Maybe that's the reason why they're releasing this one. 
with all the extra parts from the FK8. That's what I think anyways. Imagine that buying this and then all of a sudden within like two years it comes out with an all-wheel drive system. <sighs> That'd be a shame, eh? But you have one of these that's not hybrid, could go up in value. Uh, right now, Canada, it's guessing this one is available. I think it's because of the one, because of the color, and two, I think the asking price, 65 to 70 K you are Canadian. That's a lot from uh, MSRP is 54 or five, roughly around there, tax in. So that's a huge jump. And uh, I think the key factor is probably, it's probably the color, you guys. This, this is the reason why this one is still available. Yeah, let me know. Would you guys choose one of these? Uh, I think I would go with one of these just because the GR Corolla is just not obtainable, you guys. Just, but if you're really one of those lucky ones to get it, you're very lucky. Hold on to it. But um, even if, like, let's say, even if I was able to get a GR Corolla, what are you going to do with it? Uh, it's a collector's car. Like, would I just go all out on it and soup it all up or just hold on to it and hopefully it goes up in value? I don't know, eh? I don't know. Don't worry, your body feels so tired.